Hello? Is this Lois Lane, the reporter? Who wants to know? This is the red-blue blur. Yeah, right. How do I know you're not some deep-throat wannabe with a lot of time on his creepy hands? Look down. I received your letter, Miss Lane. Copy Lois, if you want. And while we're at it, do you want to weigh in on the whole red-blue blur thing? Because it's kind of a mouthful on this end. I think there's probably a better name out there. And if there's anyone who can find it, it's you, Miss Lane. I'll put my best men on it. And by men, I mean me, because I work in the basement and employ pretty much no one unless you count my intern. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. You're nervous. Can you read my mind? Who am I kidding? It's Saturday night and I hightailed it down here because I have one obsession right now and it's you. And when you didn't respond to my skywriting, I just... That was a nice one, by the way. Between you and me, I could use a little work on that subtle thing. You know there's nothing wrong with taking your job seriously. There is when you don't know who you'd be without it. Something tells me you know yourself better than you think. Lois, you're a great reporter. All on your own. You don't need a hero or some gimmick to make a headline. Thanks. My editor would kill me, but I don't want this story. What I've really been wondering is, what is it that you need? I mean, you've dedicated your life to a city full of strangers, and I'm not saying that I know what it's like to be a hero, but... Even the fastest blur in the world can't outrun loneliness. I guess what I'm saying is... If you ever want to talk, totally off the record, I'm only a phone call away. I'll keep that in mind. And Lois, when I'm ready to tell the world my secret, you'll be the first to know. blur leaves a handwritten message you better believe i'm there chalk it up to the curiosity of a recently unemployed reporter but since we've been doing this cell to cell why are we back to doing this old school i wanted to have this conversation in a place that meant something to both of us oh sounds awfully official but hey you're the boss so what's my next impossible mission there won't be one lois I'm sorry, this is our last conversation. Last conversation today, or for a while? If you have to go back on another hiatus, I understand. I'll be there. It's in our last talk. Forever. No. <laughs> our relationship puts you at risk. I know that we would do anything to protect each other. What if one day I'm too late? But you don't understand, I don't care about the risk. When I'm working with you, I'm doing something good, something right. You don't need me for that. But I do need you, and maybe I didn't realize it until it was too late, but this is the most important part of my life. There must be some other part that means more to you. When I'm with you, it's about more than what I want, who I want. It is something that is bigger than me. I wish things could be different, Lois. This is the only way I can protect you. I won't call again. If anyone calls claiming to, to be me, don't believe them. No matter what they say or what happens, you can't trust them. 
No, please. I will be watching over you. I promise. Goodbye, Lois. Goodbye. Now, take me by the 